So how to break down the Adina studio. It's in a strip mall. It, if you look at it, you honestly, it's one of those things. If you're driving through town, you might not even see it. If you're driving through Adina, which is not far from the airport and, and you look at the studio and just initially you look at it and it's a very welcoming studio. Then you walk in the door. I was greeted by Kat, who again, I believe is the studio manager, also a coach and uh, just super friendly, uh, really helpful. She had sent the thing ahead of time to kind of get me signed up and uh, yeah, grab my credit card to get all that information updated. Some small talk with her and Coach Jay, super friendly as well. And I just felt very welcome coming to this new studio, which in general at Orange Theory I do, but there have been some times when I, when I haven't felt so welcome. And uh, yeah, good experience overall. Another thing that I did uh, was suggestion from uh, my friend uh, Burpees and Bourbon and uh, Katie from there, I went ahead and told them that I, that I bring my camera and that I like to make these little videos and just wanted to see if they had any concerns with it. They didn't, which was awesome. And uh, it just feels good knowing that you're kind of talking about it and letting them know that you're gonna be filming and that um, if somebody did have a concern, then they know about it and it's not a shock to anybody. So uh, something new I'm gonna try doing, something obviously I do at my home studio, but haven't always in the past when visiting other Orange Theories. So breaking down the format of uh, this studio, it's very much a big L. Uh, it does have 15 stations packed in there, which I was impressed with. I was, <laughs> I was shocked that they could get 15 uh, stations in this small space. The treadmills are very much, you know, treadmill to treadmill as they, as they usually are. And uh, right behind it are the rowers, which again, you see in many studios, but they're, they're pretty close. There's only, I would say four feet. It could be three feet. It's not a lot of space in between, uh, but it was still plenty of space to do the exercises uh, as you're coming off the rower and plenty of room for transition as far as I could see. I think they were still doing some of the protocols. So they were having us from the, uh, I started on the treads and then I rotated to the floor, which I was not used to. Generally, we rotate to the rowers, but I think it had to do with how you wanted to kind of move people in and around the studio. And they were still wearing masks in classes during transitions, but I think they're coming off of that here in the upcoming week or so. Came off the uh, treadmill, got to the floor in a nice kind of corner spot. As you can see from the video here, it's pretty damn dark. Uh, it is kind of a, a darker studio, not a ton of lighting, uh, not as much as I generally would love to see in a studio, but I think in the setup that they have, it's kind of, you know, the best that they could do with the space that they had. And again, a very nice clean space uh, all around. Going over to the rowers, I, I did like uh, I, I did like the rowers. They they looked like all the equipment there. I would say it's well taken care of. It's definitely you know aged. Everything looked you know the five or six years old. I think they've been there five years. Again, all in good shape. Just you could tell that it uh, it had been around. Muscled uh, through the rower. Had a had a good workout overall. Thinking back, I think I had 13 splat points. Uh, I want to say it was around 800 calories. I'll throw those up on the screen here. Uh, finished my workout, chatted for a second with Coach Jay, you know, thanked him for the workout, got a quick selfie. Didn't need a shower or anything like that, but they do have showers just like every other studio. They have lockers like other studios. They didn't use the little uh, golf tees like some studios. I actually kind of like those, it's just a uh, personal preference, but it's kind of a nice sign that, hey, I'm using this locker, uh, don't use this locker. Instead of people just kind of clicking through and trying to find a locker that's empty, it's a nice uh, nice sign for them. They had the in-body scan scale, which, which I like. They had uh, filled water bottles with kind of a cheaper plastic water bottle for $5 a pop uh, in the cooler. So nice having that option, some good uh, some good merch in there and things like that. I, I definitely didn't need any, but if you're visiting Adina and you want an Adina shirt, they had things like that. And just, again, overall, uh, a great experience. I'm gonna be visiting a bunch of different studios here in Minnesota. I wanna try a bunch of these out and kind of, you know, just get my perspective on, on what they're like and share them with you. If you like videos like this, uh, love it if you guys would subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Uh, if you do subscribe, hit that little bell. You'll be notified when I put out new videos. Obviously, if you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it that thumbs up. Really, that's it for today. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're doing what works for you. And again, thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.